In my field of, of aging research, it's, it's debated tremendously. Mm -hmm. And most of the, the debate comes from studies of, of animals. Mm -hmm. And what we find is that animals that have low levels of growth hormone live longer. So there's this... Low levels live longer. Right. Okay. But there's something that my colleagues don't appreciate. And that is a lifelong treatment of, or lifelong existence with low growth hormone. What you end up with is dwarfism. So small okay. animals, okay. due to a lack wow. of development, live long. Oh, wow. Okay. It's also, by the way, known that the smaller you are, you tend to live longer. Mm -hmm. that, and we know that from pet dogs. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had a, sure. a, a large dog, you know the problem. So the reason is that during development, uh, we're actually slowing down the clock. And you actually, the clock is changing when you're young as well. Okay. But what, what I believe anyway, is having read thousands of papers on this topic, is that Growth hormone isn't bad, but it won't make you live longer. Okay. Because what, what it's doing is some benefits. It's going to okay. improve your body's uh, metabolism. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you grow muscle. But what it's not doing is turning on the longevity genes, which is what you need to do, okay. the kind of things that I'm doing to get those active as well. Okay. So what's exciting to me is maybe you could take growth hormone, but then trick the body into thinking that it's lacking growth hormone and that you're exercising tremendously. How would you do that? Trick it? Yeah. Well, what I do it, uh, is the, the combination of the metformin yes. uh, with the resveratrol, and there's the N NAD booster, yeah. okay. which I take. Those are the three main components. Yeah. By the way, I don't recommend anybody do anything. I'm right. a PhD, not a doctor, right. but I, I feel no obligation to say what I do. And, the, and by the way, one other thing, there's all these companies out there suggesting that your name's on them, but you're not involved with any particular uh, company that's NAD that they could purchase right now, Zero. are you? Zero. No, no, I'm glad you mentioned that, yeah. Ed, because if you look on the internet, you might think that I have 10 companies. You would. There's even a Sinclair lab. Somebody started a company with my name on there. My goodness. So I, I don't do that, and there's a very good reason for that. Okay. It's because I need to be able to give you my unbiased scientific opinion. Okay. And if I, if I have some favorites, why would you trust what I'm saying? A good point. Okay, so we've got the growth hormone answer. Okay, uh, my age, uh, you find a dude looking like me, that dude may have had an interest in hormone replacement.